Mark, so you've seen that uh, Duke for Dean t-shirt that's going around? Uh, I saw a little bit of it on Facebook uh, and read a little bit about it. That's pretty cool, and I got a lot of respect for that. What do you think about the rivalry? Uh, Coach was saying that it doesn't have to be hatred for it to be a good rivalry. What does right. it feel like to you? Right. I think that's what makes this rivalry so special is the, the mutual respect. You know, obviously we're not huge. I'm not a huge Duke fan. You know, I don't love them. But I really respect them, and I think that's the common theme among the rivalry. They respect us. We respect them. Uh, we have tremendous respect for what Coach K has done, and they have a lot of respect for, for what Coach Smith all the way through Coach Williams has done in terms of building these programs up, and it's good for the entire area. So it's almost, you know, it's it makes sense to respect what's been going on because that's what's going to keep it going. Who did you cheer for in this game growing up? I didn't cheer for uh, Carolina. I was a big Raymond Felton fan, um, you know, and Sean May and those guys. Uh, obviously, they were pretty good, so it was fun to cheer for them. But even before that, I was a huge Jay Williams fan at Duke. But I always cheer for Carolina going. Is there a certain game or games that you remember more than any? Honestly, not really. Um, you know, the one where Marvin Williams got the put back, uh, that one kind of rings in my head. And we talk about that one a lot around here, so that might be a little biased uh, or something that I'm remembering because I go to school here. But I just remember uh, the most. The thing I remember most is always the videos leading up to the game that show the tradition, that show like Tyler Hansberg getting elbow in the face and Montrose with the bloody eye and Coach K like screaming, the Duke players slapping the floor. Uh, those those kind of uh, stick with you. You know, every game they show the really cool video of all the past tradition in the past games uh, when Cape will hit the half court shot. Those kind of things. So uh, it just kind of sticks with you, and they'll probably show those again tomorrow. Marcus, how's this season gone for you relative to what you expected? I mean, it hasn't been quite what I expected. You know, on, on a personal level, I expected to be playing a little bit better. I didn't expect to be battling uh, nagging injuries the entire year, but, you know, those are some things you just can't really control and you have to kind of roll with. And I, I think I'm doing a pretty good job of handling things as they come and trying to remain the leader of the team and, and do whatever I can to help the team. Uh, obviously, my numbers are pretty much down across the board, minus assists, but, um, you know, I'm still happy that I'm able to help my team despite being a little banged up. Does the timing of this game, after what happened Saturday, and then the way you lost Louisville, the way you lost Virginia, kind of come at a good time, give you guys a chance of one night to sort of resurrect things? Yeah, I mean, we're not really all the way down to shambles or anything, so I don't know if resurrect is the appropriate term, but in a way, we can kind of bounce back. Um, because we did let one go at Louisville, and we have struggled. Even in our win against Boston College these past four games, it's pretty obvious we've struggled. So uh, this is a great opportunity to get a confidence confidence booster and kind of give us some momentum going forward. But um, I think we'll, we'll still be okay, regardless of what happens. Marcus, can you just talk about you know you going against a guy like Quinn Cook and, and the whole defense with how to uh, stop over for? Yeah, I mean, Okafor is, is going to be tough to completely stop. You know, you're going to have to contain him, try to neutralize him, um, but he's a guy that's going to get his because of the amount of touches he gets. And, uh, you know, how he shoots 70% from the floor or 60-some percent from the floor. So at some point he's going to get his baskets, and we're going to have to deal with that. You know, we just want to make it hard for him, make his, uh, make his opportunities hard, you know, maybe pressure him, throw some different looks at him to try to get him out, out of his comfort zone. Uh, but at the same time, we got to stick to shooters. Quinn is playing great this year. Uh, since I've been here, this is the best basketball he's been playing. Um, you know, Tyus is doing a really good job running their team. Matt Jones has stepped up. Justice Winslow is a great freshman. So uh, it's going to be the challenge for us is being able to neutralize o Okafor without allowing those other guys to get their looks and get off and score a lot of points. Marcus, I've got one. Um, how do you stop dribble penetration? What's important for you when you're defending to stop dribble penetration? Well, I, the closeout is the most important part. Um, you know, they try to get you to, to help from the wings and su support the drive so that they can shoot a lot of threes. So for me, closing out under control is the most important thing because even though you have to, you can always be late to get a hand up on the shot, but if you close out out of control, they're going to beat you off the dribble and then it's going to open up their entire offense. So I just try to, you know, close out and stay low and, and keep my guy in front because if you, if you can guard your man without help, it, uh, it helps tremendously against Duke. One last one, everybody. All right, Marcus, thank you. Cool. Thank you, everybody.